Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my pink Cabernet Kate Spade zip planner that I'm currently in. Now I know on my Instagram I did say I was going to show you my Aqua Malden and I promise the next time I am in that planner I will also do a setup video. Now I have not done a video for a long time since February time frame before my foot surgery so my setup has changed a little bit. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm currently doing now in my planners. I love this style planner. It's from the Kate Spade Outlet stores. They come in several different colors and they have several dif different releases each time during the year. This was the last release and I absolutely love this color, especially for the spring and summertime. It is just the perfect pink for me. I leave it unzippered to the top right corner because I do like to keep clips in here and tassels and I keep this fairly stuffed. I get a lot, a lot of items inside of this planner. So I'm going to unzip it and we're going to take a look inside. The first thing I have are these tassels up on the top. I love these. These are from Hot Pink Fluff. The first one I have is the Lemon Sorbet Heart Shaped Tassel. I love the heart shapes and she does do them in different colors. You just have to send her a direct message on Etsy and ask her what color she has available. And Vanessa's really, really sweet. She has great customer service. And then I have this one here with the gold yarn and the extended chain. I really like the extended chain for zip planners because it gives you that extra little length that you need for them to hang over the side. I'm going to zoom into the pockets next and we're going to take a closer look at those. The first thing I have in this planner is in this lower pocket. I have this sparkle paper clip from Picks and Stones. I absolutely love her paper clips and I love her her glitter paper. It's really chunky and really sparkly and I love it. Any of the shops that I mention I will tag below in the description and I will also provide a coupon code if I have one for that specific shop. I just love this sparkle paper clip and I believe she is currently carrying this in her shop. I have some Sun post-it notes from Walmart and I absolutely love these. I think they're so perfect for the spring going into the summer. So I keep those tucked here and I can use them if I choose to. The next pocket I have is this sheet of Reset Girl Hearts. I love them. I do not use them. I just think they look really pretty in the pockets so I have a tendency not to use them. The next clip is from another favorite clip shop. This is from Lovely Little Planners. Her clips are also super adorable. The quality is really thick and really sturdy. I love these. This clip is just beautiful. Now she has the sparkly paper as well, but the difference between hers and Picks and Stones is Picks and Stones has a little bit more of a chunky glitter, and this one is more of a fine glitter, but I'll be honest, guys, I can never choose between which glitter I like better. I love them both, and as you can see, they're both super super sparkly. I love them. So I have this just tucked in with the stickers in that pocket. The next pocket I have is um, also another sticker sheet from the Reset Girl. I got these in my goodie bag when I went to the Iowa meetup that was in January time frame. I really like them. I keep them tucked in here. They're kind of hard to use because they're so pretty. The next is just a business card from Rosie Plans. I really just loved the green and the pink flower and I cut it down so that it would fit in this pocket and I think it it looks really super cute. The next stickers are from a Planner Society kit, a really older one, and they were by the Reset Girl. I love these stickers and there's no way I can use them. I've tried several times and I just, I'm so afraid I can't ever replace them. So I do hoard these stickers and they move around from pocket to pocket as I move in and out of different planners. In the next pocket, I have these really cute leaf post-it notes. I love these for the springtime. These came in an older Pop Fizz Paper monthly subscription box, and I actually do use these, and um, I really like them a lot. They're really cute. Okay, the next thing is, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I am obsessed with these sequin hearts. They're from Peonies Papery. I love that shop, and Liam is a total sweetheart. We have become friends. And I just love these clips so much. I am obsessed with them. Look how cute and sparkly they are. I call them sequin stars because they look like little tiny sequins all sewn together. They are just beautiful. This is the new larger size and I really like it a lot. I keep it tucked in this top pocket. 
And the last thing I have in the pocket is these Target page flags. I love these. I have been looking for them forever. And uh, Lena from Peach Palm sent them to me with my last order, which I thought was so sweet because you guys know I'm obsessed with Peach Palms as well. And she was just really sweet and included that in my order. And it was absolutely thrilling to me. So those are how my pockets are set up. I just keep my clips kind of tucked in there. I do not clip them to the leather because I hate to make paper clip marks. You guys know that. In this side pocket, I just have a recent Rosie Plan sampler that I think is really cute and that I'm hoping to use. So I'm keeping it tucked here. Here is just a piece of cardstock that was cute pa pattern paper that I have tucked in that side in that pocket. And that is everything for the pocket size. I'm going to zoom out a little Little bit we're going to look at the rest of the planner. I currently do not have a dashboard. I have a problem with switching so often that I end up never putting one back in when I switch from another one. I don't know how it happens but currently I do not have a dashboard and you know what guys I'm totally okay with it because I love the way this looks. The first thing I have is a clear fly leaf. I know it's hard to see on the video but I like to keep that on the front here because when I close it it kind of protects the items that are in my pockets and I really like that. This vellum sheet here was from a Webster's Pages Color Crush planner. It came as a sheet that was like um, regular size in the box and I cut it down and hole punched it and I just thought it was so pretty. It says be happy, be bright, be you and it just always makes me smile so I keep it there. Okay now all of my inserts that I'm going to show you inside this planner are from So Much Crafting. So I will link that shop below as well. I don't use any other inserts but hers. The first thing I have is the yearly calendar and I had this stick that said 2016 Happy New Year and I thought it was really cute. I keep it right up there on the top of the cal calendar. Now it did cover the word February but I'm totally okay with that because I think it looks really cute so I'm happy with it. Okay, the first thing I have is my pull-out calendar, um, also from So Much Crafting. I have this really cute magnetic paper clip that is from Southern Mess Designs, another favorite shop of mine. It's so cute. And I keep it here because it helps me to keep my fold-out calendar in order. And also, if somebody's flipping through my planner, they tend to skip this part because it's clipped shut. So I do have some personal information in there, not anything really, you know, crazy, but it's just I prefer it not to be opened so that it won't be torn. And I really like that clip. It holds it in place. Now, the first thing I did is I washied the edge of this because when I pull this calendar out, I always tend to grab this section right here. And the paper started getting a little bit frayed on me. So I just put a piece of washi tape and I wrapped it around and I really like the way that's working out. It's made the calendar really sturdy. This is the pull out portion. I made myself a key code here on the left and I love these dots. These are from the Planner Junkie and I'll show you them close up because I keep them tucked in the back pocket so I can use them. I have them when I need them and they're transparent and I absolutely love them. I did cut the name of the shop off on the top here and that's just because it fits better in my pocket that way. And I always have these in the back pocket so if I'm on the go and I need to add something to my calendar, I do have it there. This is probably one of the parts of my uh, my planner that I most procrastinate on. I really need to do better at keeping up with it because it really is helpful at a glance and my husband actually Actually peeks at this because I keep his floating holidays and his um, vacation days and his sick days and my sick days marked on it it's really easy to kind of look and see we also have an exterminator that comes three times a month and it's easy for me to see when he's last been here so I use it for a lot of different things and I really really love it I highly suggest that insert from so much crafting Okay, now we get into my weeklies and I'm sorry, my monthlies. And these are my monthly overviews. I have February in here, I have March, I have April. And I also have May. I only just recently started using May, so there's not a lot going on here. But I really love the way it looks. This flower pattern across the top is so pretty in the blue and 
pink flowers and this monthly kit here that fits in the so much crafting personal size monthly inserts is from planning made perfect i'll link that below as well and i don't keep anything too major on here just if there's something that's really important that's happening like i keep my revolution stickers and my uh pet information in here if I have some bills due if it's a holiday so that I don't forget so just really minor things okay my first uh, divider is my weekly now as far as my dividers go guys I have been on the same dividers for a long time I got these uh, foiled gold papers at Hobby Lobby and I really really love them and I created my own dividers with them and I did laminate them I know I've told you guys that I would never laminate but I did laminate these and I totally love them they seem to always match with everything that I'm doing and I know a lot of people like to change their dividers regularly I need to start getting into the habit of doing that but for right now I'm really stuck on these and I can't seem to get away from them uh, this paper clip on the top is another favorite clip designer of mine and this one is Scrappy Drew Designs and oh my god this little Marilyn Monroe is adorable and she is perfect for the springtime. I get a lot of questions about this clip and I just keep her clipped here on one of the thicker dividers because she tends to hold better there and I love it. I have a little notepad from Target that's note to self. Um, I haven't really been using these. I might take them out. As beautiful as the Target notes are and the page flags, they're really cute to look at. They're horrible as far as being useful because they don't stick well. I actually had to use uh, temporary adhesive to get these to stick to the dividers. Um, on the next page here, I have a little clear pocket that is a business card holder that's stuck on top into my divider. And here I just keep the current Reset Girl um, color palette in case I want to order something. I know what colors they are. And then I have all my Planner Kate divider tabs that I do order from her. I love the font of these and I just think they're so cute. And I use them to mark my dividers and I've really been liking those. Okay, next up is my weeklies. These are also from So Much Crafting. And I'm just going to flip through my last few weeks. Uh, it goes back to April 4th. I've been keeping less of them inside my current planner just so that I have more room for other things. This was a Rosie Plans kit. This was a Glitter Queen Company, which is Philo Alley uh, Girl Boss kit. And it was really cute. I loved it. Um... I use the week on four pages, meaning you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I really like these inserts. They pretty much have given me planner piece, and I'm really happy with them. Uh, this was April 25th week, which I did a peacock theme that I loved. Really super awesome. Um, I have two peach palms down at the bottom here. I have a green and I have a yellow. I love peach palms as well, the little felt palms. Very, very awesome. They are in every single one of my planners. I cannot plan without my peach palms. Now, I'm going to be honest, this was last week, which was Mother's Day week, and I still have not finished filling it out. I have been procrastinating about it, but I will have it finished by this evening. I have another Peonies Papery paper clip, and this is the sequin heart. Oh my god, I love this. And this is also one of the larger clips. It's the large hearts, and I keep that clipped right up here because I thought it looked really cool. And this is the part that I have to finish up. This mom clip is amazing, guys. This came with this Mother's Day sticker set from Rosie Plans. I totally love it. As soon as I saw that the kit included this clip, I just had to have it. It is beautiful, and I did want to do something for Mother's Day because my mother is in a different state, and I don't get to spend it with her, so I wanted to definitely have a really bright, fun thing going on for Mother's Day. So that was that week, and this is our current week that's coming up. Today is Monday. I have not really decided which direction I'm going to go yet with these, so I'm kind of going to decide. I'm going to flip through my stickers, and I'll show you those. 
I keep my current weeks or weekly sets in these envelopes here. Uh, most of them are in the envelopes. They are sticker storage envelopes from Avery. They're really thick and I really like them and they hold my kits really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simply flip through and decide, oh, I love this watermelon set from Little Miss Papier. Um, if you guys didn't get this, you totally missed out. I love it. So I have all of these kits that I can now flip through neatly. This is the most current from Planner-esque. I'm loving that one too, and from Rosie Plans. I have this really cute one from Little Dog Paper Company that's an 80s theme. I really love that one. It's Planning Time, Soda Pop Studio. I have another Little Miss Papery. Um, I have these that I just got recently in the mail from Sugar Paper Bear. Oh my God, I love them, the monthly setups. I used one for this month and I have this one for when I go on vacation to my lake vacation and we eat a lot of lobster and oh, I just totally love it. Now these are from out of the country, but I thought the shipping was pretty fast for me. You guys know I'm addicted to It's Planning Times $5 Friday, so I have a lot of those. And I do have a lot of rosy plans kits. So basically I flip through everything. I decide what color scheme I want to go with and I move on to the next week. And that's basically how I plan. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for this week yet. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the planner. Okay, my next section is to do. I have more target page flags here. And here I do not make one of these out for every day. Um, this is the today is and it's broken down in the hours. You have a must do today list on the menu notes and water intake. I only fill one of these out if I'm having a really, really busy day. The next thing I keep in the to-do section is actually my menus. I like to make weekly menus. I don't have my current one in there, but I just do have a few older ones that I'll show you really quick. I like to decorate them and get really cutesy with washing stickers on them. So this was a past week. I think it was in April sometime. This was a week that was in March. I make one every week. I just don't have them all in here because I'm currently working on them. My next divider is uh, finance and I love this. I just love these gold glitter pineapples. Look how cute those are. They're so adorable. And again, guys, I know I said I was never going to laminate my inserts, but since my surgery, I've been kind of just doing things as simply as possible in my planner. So I haven't been hand making my own dividers and decorating each one individually. Okay, this is my finance section. Obviously, I have personal information in here I can't show. So these are just some flip-flop post-its that are similar to the Sun ones that I have that are also from Walmart. I just have them covering up my financial information and I have this Ollie clip that I really love that holds that closed. Now, the next thing I'm gonna be working on is these uh, calendar pages from So Much Crafting. It shows the month and then it lists each day. What I'm gonna go do on these is I'm going to go back in my Etsy history and I want to write down each day what I spent on Etsy. Now I'm not saying I'm doing a no spend or anything. I've tried that before and it totally doesn't work. But I definitely want to keep track of how I'm spending each day. So I'm going to go back and do the past months and I'm going to do that for the remainder of 2016. I think that would be really helpful for me. Okay my next tab is miscellaneous. In miscellaneous I have my pen pal information. So again, sorry guys, it's private. I have it covered up. I have this really cute mermaid clip. It's magnetic from Southern Mess Designs. Totally cute. It keeps everything clipped together. So if somebody goes through my planner, they don't see any personal information. And I just love the way these clips look. My next divider is lists. I've been getting really into list making lately. This here is just our timeshare for Lake of the Ozarks where we go on vacation every year. Every year we go different weeks. I kind of put the week I thought we were going to go. Um, we 
we have it for several weeks during the summertime, so we usually only get to go once. And I have all the weeks listed out, so I really think that came out cute. I love these little stickers here. They're from Small Town Grace, and I just added some washi and some sticker letters, and I really love the way that came out. And again, guys, I've been really getting into my list section. The next thing I have in here is just some projects around the house I want to get done. Um, I like the Good Witch that's on the Hallmark Channel. These are all of her movies. I haven't watched all of them, so we're getting through them, and I check them off as we go along. And then here is season one that I have on DVD that I haven't gotten around to starting yet. And currently it's in season two, so I'll be filling that out because I've been taping them. And I wanted to make a list of those. I also have my outdoor projects list, and again, it is empty. I need to get to sitting with this list over uh, this next week, and I need to get it done. <laughs> so I want to list all the projects that my husband and I have planned for the summer and the spring for our yard. So I thought that came out really cute. I also just have layout ideas I want to do. I also started this page just the other day. I'm just putting uh, stickers down from the companies I like to purchase from. And here I'm going to decorate the top with washi and put down favorite uh, Etsy shops. I also have some coupon codes. These two lists here have been haunting me for a couple of weeks now. I'm supposed to be filling these out as well this week. I have hot pink fluff and peach palms. I want to list all the ones that I have so I don't order du duplicates by accident. And I've already done that with peach palms. So I really need to get to doing these lists. They have kind of been lingering around for a while. I have this sheet here that's from... Um, Coco Daisy, it was just in one of their monthly kits and I thought it was really cute, so I have it there. And then my very last tab is stickers. A lot of these I create myself. I've been doing a super amount of stickers <laughs> with my silhouette. These are my favorite, they're location map pins. They're so cute. And anytime we go somewhere that's out of town, I like to mark it. So I've made them for the most you know, current places or the ones that we go to the most. I just recently made these the other day too. They're delivery trucks. The clip art can be found on Etsy. It's they're really super cute and look at the beautiful colors. I love the way they came out. And this is for deliveries. And I think my favorite is definitely the brown because they do look like UPS trucks. These are a new sticker. I don't think I've showed these. These are say grill time. I created these myself as well. I like to mark when we uh, grill outside. Here are some more location stickers. I have these that you guys saw on my Instagram as well, purchase bird food because I'm really big into wild birds, so I like to keep track when I need to purchase food. I have my Starbucks stickers. Now these I did not create. These are from Planning Made Perfect and I love them. I love that she put the washi strip down the side and that they're hole punched. These ones are adorable. They're called Wine Time. Ooh, love them. Here are some of her old weekly layouts, which I have yet to get around to using, but I will be. And then here are probably my favorite stickers. These are from Planner Kate. They're the drink up and the dinner ones. But what I like about them is they're the smaller squares, so they fit really perfectly in these personal inserts that I use. So I have those, and as you can see, I need to reorder. I also love these. These are clipboards from Planning Made Perfect. I have the Soda Pop Studio monthly stickers and the holiday stickers. And as you can see, a lot of the holiday stickers are missing and they're in my husband's planner that I set up this past weekend. If you want to see that, check out my Instagram account and you can see what my husband's planner is starting to look like. I have another fly leaf that I keep on the back here. I just think it protects everything and it keeps this last page from curling down at the bottom. I really love that, especially when the planner's this pack. It's really hard to prevent the, this last page from curling. And then as I showed you before, I had the, plan, uh, the Planner Junkie Transparent Dots. I have this really cute flower paper clip here. 
Love that. I'm really into the felt ones as well. And then the last thing I have in here is the Philo Alley Pen Gem. I love this one for the summertime, the pink and the yellow. I think it'll also look cute for like pink lemonade themes and stuff. I always like to keep a pen gem here. And though I don't use the pen gem to actually write on my weekly inserts, I use it when I'm writing on post-it notes and I'm leaving myself little notes in my planner. So that is it guys. That is everything. Look at how chunky this is. I love it. Totally love how chunky it is and I can still zipper it up with no problems. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And it was really fun doing this, guys. I miss doing my videos. I'm going to be doing some Project Life ones. I'm going to do more planner-related ones. So just bear with me and I will have more up soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.